Bishop reporting. A world-beating Australian cage fighter has his sights set on the London Olympics and he's hoping some Hollywood support will help. It takes guts to train with a man called the Hulk who bench presses 200 kilos. <coughs> So Apalale's hammered out a formidable reputation in the ring. Now he wants to swing his skills into Olympic contention in the ancient sport of Greco-Roman wrestling. The whole competitive nature about competing against the other opponents and doing the best, being the best. Huge body, very flexible, and he likes weightlifting. At more than 190 centimetres and almost 130 kilograms, the Man Mountain from Perth concedes mixed martial arts cage fighting is controversial. So they think that you get locked in there and, and you know, it's no rules, but there is rules. Palalay's last major fight lasted just over 80 seconds. His big bout before that went just 10. Ringside at that Sydney clash, his highest profile fan, Hollywood star Leonardo DiCaprio. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's, he's a real guy. Um, he, uh, he, you know, he's a big fan of the, the whole UFC and the whole MMA fight. This will be Soa's second bid for Olympic selection after the 2000 Sydney Games. Twelve years on, he says he now has strength and experience on his side. It's been a long, long hard road and I'm still going, so, so we, you know, we'll see what happens. Palale fights for a world title in April, then Olympic selection in May. But his London bid is in the best of hands. Coach Adrian Tesanovic silver medalled in Seoul in 1988. Pride and dignity is very important because we feel really excited. It's, we, we, we will represent our country. I think it's a magic moment. It'll be the ultimate dream. It'll be the ultimate dream for any athlete to represent Australia. <laughs> Nick Way, 10 years. You'd love a bit of cage fighting? Still trying to recover from the Pirate Act. Okay, still.